What's up guys and welcome to my channel. I'm hitting you guys up with a Halloween theme battle today. Um, obviously it's Halloween two days so I figured I'd throw a Halloween team together for you guys. Um, this battle was actually against someone on my Facebook page. They've been requesting one for a couple of days and I hadn't had time but I finally got around to doing it and figured I'd make something of it and uh, make it like kind of themed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. It's a really long one so I'm going to keep the intro as short as I can and just drive, dive straight in because, as I said, it is a pretty long-winded battle. So, to lead out, he's going to send out his Taurus, and I'm going to lead out with my Perugly as well. He's going to actually swap the Taurus out, though, because um, he wants to get an Intimidate drop-off with his Gramble, so he's going to swap into Gramble there. Get the Intimidate, although I do have Defiant to counter that, so although it does drop it by one stage, I do actually get a boost. So, uh, Perugly's chilling now on a plus one, and he's going to slap it up with a fake out. Um, as you can see, he's going to get the flinch, obviously, because Vega always flinches, so I'm going to flinch, hit him, he's going to have some leftovers recovery, but I'm going to do a pretty decent amount of damage, considering that thing is obviously meant to be a physical wall. Going to hit up with a knockoff on the off chance he swapped out, but also to knock off the lefties if he stayed in, which he did, so I've successfully uh, taken his little apple core away from him so he can't chow down and get health back this turn. So I'm going to swap out, not wanting to take another play rough, as you just saw, that totally demolished my HP and I nearly died, so I'm going to swap out into Golbat to sponge it up. It turns out he doesn't even go for a play rough that time, he's going to go for an Earthquake, so that works out even better, so I totally avoid the attack and he's forced to swap out into his only if you like Pokemon, I'm assuming, uh, Dragonair, who's also shiny as well, which is uh, pretty sassy, looking good in the pink. So I'm going to go for a nasty plot there and boost my special attack because I cannot hit this thing without some kind of boost. So I'm going to go for a sludge bomb there, which is a pretty decent amount. Should have really gone for um, air slashes though, because obviously I can flinch it because I'm faster. And he's going to go for an outrage there and um, lock himself in. So knowing he's locked into outrage and knowing that I can take them, I'm going to start setting up some nasty plotses. Nasty plot plotses. Nasty plots. What's plural for plotses? Um, sponging those... Um, Dragon Age, Dra Dragon Rages, Dragon Age, oh my god, Dragon Rage. As you can see there, I'm going to go for a Roost, then I can easily take a couple more. I'm trying to stall out, hoping he gets confused, because I always thought it was a three-turn thing, but apparently it can roll on and roll on forever, as I found out on Showdown when I got demolished by his hacks first. Oh my god, you guys, it was, it, I was obliterated in this video. So, now I'm at plus four, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go for an Air Slash. Get a critical hit as well, and the flinch, both on the same roll. I'm not sure how like lucky that is, but that was pretty damn smart for me and my... Terrible luck with RNG, at least. So I'm gonna um, take out his Evil Light Dragon there, and that is gonna be the end of him. So in comes another shiny, which is Delphox. Um, looking quite nice, although I do actually prefer it's non-shiny sprite. I'm gonna swap out in fear of the Psychic slash Psyshock, and swap into my Chandelier, who is actually an unusual Chandelier. It's a Calm Mind, kind of bulkyish set, which turns out to be totally useless because I didn't actually get a chance to really use it. And uh, considering it's 252 HP, took that Psychic terribly, terribly. Gonna get the leftovers recovery and he's gonna swap out. I'm not entirely sure why he's gonna swap out, probably fearing um, that I'm scarfed into Shadow Ball or something, which I'm totally not. Although I was going for Shadow Ball, so he did kind of make a wise decision there. Gonna um, swap out and go into his Blastoise there, who is a special defense wall as well. And uh, I'm just gonna fire off Shadow Balls. I am so wasteful in this battle, like I just throw my Pokemon around. Just <laughs> Like, really willy-nilly and like kind of kill off a couple of them totally aimlessly and shouldn't have really. So he's going to scold me again. I'm actually going to survive. I should have really swapped out there into my um, Gorgice, but I didn't. Uh, I'm just going to keep firing off Shadow Balls. I was really hoping for defense, like special defense stuff on this thing because it's so like specially defensive, but the, I got nothing. Nada. Zilch. So he's going to go for another scold, just take out my Chandelier there, and that is going to be my first team KO. And um, that leaves me no choice but to swap into my Beedrill. So I'm going to go into Beedrill here. I want to get Mega Beedrill up as soon as I can, obviously, because it's really nice. Um, what's the word? Hmm. It's really nice momentum. That's the word. It's really nice momentum to have Mega Beedrill U turning and just popping off KOs left, right, and center. Uh, but he's going to swap into his Grambles and get the Intimidate drop on me, which is horrible because that's going to, you know, sting like a bitch, <laughs> if you mind the terrible pun. Um, because obviously I can't really do much damage once I've got that Intimidate drop. So I'm just going to go for a U-turn here and U-turn out. Knowing I'd like speed anyway, but I wanted to go for the Protect. I, I don't really know why I shouldn't have, really. I should have just gone for U-turn. I mean, I was going to outspeed that thing anyway, so it made no difference. I just kind of wasted a turn and made this battle even longer than it needed to be. So I'm going to swap there, U-turn out, and go into my Golbat, avoiding um, an Earthquake there, which would have been super effective on my B-Draw as well. 
So I'm going to dodge that completely and he's going to swap out again to make the same play as before and go into his dove box. Um, I'm going to go for the sludge bomb that was originally going to be on his gramble, of course, and uh, swap out there for fear of death by Fox. So I'm going to bail out and go into my own Del Fox. So uh, mirror mirror on the wall, who's the fairest fox of them all? I'm going to say it's mine because I don't shine. Hey, check out them rhymes. Sublime times. Boom. Hashtag and pro at rhyming. So we're going to bail out and uh, he's going to go into his Blastoise as I fire off a Shadow Ball that was aiming for his Del Fox to show them, you know, which Del Fox really was fairest of them all. So I'm going to swap out myself, bail out and go into my goal guys. Um, hoping to sponge up some delicious water. Uh, how cool would it be if Gorgas got Storm Drain instead of Frisk? Frisk just seems so useless. Like, how can it Frisk? It doesn't even have hands. It has hair. Hair hands. No. So I'm going to sponge up that um, Scald at least anyway, and thank goodness I didn't get burned because I don't actually have any form of healing my team, which is shocking for me really because I have Heal Bell, Synthesis, or uh, Aromatherapy even on like most of my teams always. Um, so I'm going to dodge that blizzard there by going for um, a phantom force. As you see, I really want foul play on this, but um, I haven't had time to breed one, so I just kind of put phantom force on it for the long and the stall of the leech seed and stuff because I'm skanky and nasty like that. So I'm going to go for a leech seed there. And stupidly, I stay in. Like, I, I know this thing is going to blizzard me, but I'm just like, <laughs> no, you never know, he might miss. No, he, he, he doesn't miss. In fact, he lands a critical hit, totally wipes me, wipes me out in one shot, I did not stand any kind of chance. I don't even know why I thought I could. Just, just boom. Gone. Just, just gone. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking nothing. That's what I was thinking. So I'm going to swap into my Grumpy Cat again, and uh, he's going to swap out. Um, I'm thinking he was going for the Intimidate Drop thing again, forgetting what happened at the start with the whole Defiant thing. So he's going to make the same play he did at the start and boost me by one stage, which is delicious. Grumpy Cat likes the boosts. So I'm going to go for a nice boosted Fake Out, slap him on the face glitch him and do a decent amount of damage as well because um, obviously I've got the Silkscalf boost, I've stabbed and that plus one and I'm just gonna go for a body slam and take him out and uh, really you know show him who's boss, show him who's the top dog or the top cat. The top cat. And uh, anyway he's gonna bring in his Taurus and I'm gonna go for the body slam. I'm pretty sure we speed tight but I won that speed tight. I'm not 100% sure I don't really know their base speeds off by heart. I'm pretty sure we were pretty close though. So go for body slam. Get the paralysis as well, which is really useful. Uh, but I'm going to be taken out by an earthquake, sadly. He's going to take some life orb recoil though. Um, so that Taurus is pretty much as good as gone. Didn't really do much at all, except to take out, you know, one frail ass cat. So I'm going to bring in um, my Beedrill here and go for a poison jab just to finish it off. It's really hard, you guys, to have a Beedrill and to not U-turn. I just, I just see the U-turn and I just want to U-turn like everything all of the time and I have to think like wait no you don't need to U-turn you can just poison jab you are fast so I'm gonna stay here for some stupid reason on this Del Fox and just get annihilated by a fire blast like I, I don't know what I was thinking I, re I really don't I couldn't have survived that I couldn't have survived anything I don't I, I, for some reason I thought I could fight Spud it if it was specs but uh made a rather risky play though going for the fire blast because Psychic would have easily one shot me as well but um you know, he, he went for the fire blast, which could have potentially missed, and I could have, you know, done some pretty decent damage to his Delphox. So he's going to bring in his Broken Frost on the Shadow Ball that was meant for his Delphox, and I'm actually going to get a lucky special defense drop, which I think was very, very important here. I don't think I'd have taken it out without that drop, but of course I did get it, so I'm just going to address the Broken Frost there, which is another threat out of the way for now, at least. So he's going to bring in his uh, Blastoise. I nearly said Mega Blastoise then, even though it's absolutely not a Mega Blastoise. So he's going to bring out his Blastoise and I'm going to swap out into my Golbat, because I know Golbat's pretty much the only thing that can take hits, and now we have to pray that I don't get burned. Um, so I'm going to roost off the damage that he did, like just like, please don't burn me, please don't burn me, because I've, we've both been quite lucky here and there in this battle, and I was just praying that I did not get burned. So he's going to fire off another skull, and I'm just like, don't burn me, don't burn me, don't burn me, and he hasn't so far, which is good, so I'm going to go proper cocky and go for a nasty plot because this thing is so especially defensive if I don't set up I'm never going to kill it and he eventually is going to burn me and I'm going to die so kind of had no choice but to set up a nasty plot there if I got a burn there I think that would have been terrible um although I was roosting on this turn where he's swapping anyway so maybe it wouldn't have been too bad but um would have been pretty ugly anyway so I'm going to go for a roost there on the swap like I said and he's going to bring in that shiny Delphox once again and um 
And well, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna go for the psychic. I'm actually staying in here. Uh, obviously, I couldn't spot my own dog box in, so my dog box would have died. And um, I'm just gonna go for a sludge bomb. I was like, YOLO, I, I can't afford to like swap and stuff anymore. I've only got two left and I'm pretty sure he's only got two left at this point as well. So now I'm going to go into my Delphox knowing that I can't possibly take any more hits. Go into this Psychic and it's going to hurt, hurt a lot considering. And he's going to get that special defense drop as well, which is potentially like game breaking. Like, I'm really lucky that I survived this. I survived it on what, 18 health? That's that's crazy. That that's crazy lucky. So I'm gonna go for a shadow ball here and um, take it. Well, take it out. Although we're both choice scarf here, so I think he just got lucky winning that speed. Um, I know the first one, of course, was because I swapped into it, but the second one, he just got lucky that he had spared. Um, so I'm gonna go for my own shadow ball here. Obviously, I'm locked in because of the scarf. I get a crit, which is somewhat redemption. Um, I don't actually know if I could have won this without that crit, I think, I, yeah, I probably could, obviously, because Golbat has Bruce. So he's going to go for the Skull to finish off my Delphox. My Delphox was the fairest of them all, it lasted right up until the bitter end, and uh, I'm going to go into my Golbat just to finish off with a Sludge Bomb. Could have roosted and stuff, but there was no need because I was going to right speed it anyway, and I got a crit that didn't matter. Always. I always KO with crits that don't matter. So that's going to round off the battle really nicely. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle and I hope you guys have fun and have a safe and happy Halloween. If you're doing anything, just drop a, drop something in the comment section below and let me know what you're doing because I'd really be interested. I'm going out tonight um, myself, hoping to narrate this and upload it before I do so you guys have something to watch for those of you that are staying in or doing whatever you guys do in wherever you are. So um, like I said, see you soon. Have a good Halloween. Bye.